we've always said that this is of utmost importance to the government, and I think uh, the $40 billion on the table indicates the importance. And I will remind people there's two tracks. There's the uh, compensation track, which is what we're talking about today, and there's the system reform track, which work continues on, and which is um, equally and critically important to make sure that the systemic discrimination ends and that children have better and brighter futures in their own communities in care that is Indigenous designed and led. So I think what Minister Lametti is saying, and I know Minister, um, uh, Minister Miller and I have spoken about, uh, is that there is a continued commitment to First Nations to make sure that we satisfy both aspects of, of this, these historic agreements, by the way, and agreements that um, our First Nations partners have worked incredibly hard on arriving at. So we'll wait to see the, the details uh, from the tribunal, and, um, but we'll continue to work with First Nations partners on both aspects, the compensation piece and on the, uh, reforming the system. So we see this as moving into the new year. We all know how the process has worked. This, this is not done. We're, we're dealing with this until like next March, next April, as <laughs> like realistically the tribunal comes out with its final thing and then justice lawyers give it the scrub and then so on. We've got to wait. What I think I want First Nations people to know is that they have a partner in us to do this work. And, uh, and indeed, you know, speaking with uh, some of the First Nations partners, um, there is obviously a worry that uh, we will pull back from them with this partnership. But as I said in my opening remarks, um, there is disappointment. This was a compensation plan designed by First Nations people for First Nations people in a culturally specific way. Um, my commitment to those partners is that we'll be with them in the, for the long haul to get to an agreement.